Welcome back to Lankan Kelly in Melbourne YouTube channel. I thought we should do something different today. I recently had a haircut done. So I thought I'll be showing you guys my curly hair routine. What I do in the shower to how I style my hair. I'll try to show you all the products that I use. So let's get into it. Starting off with oiling my hair. Since I got a haircut, I've been missing my long hair so much and coconut oil really helps with my hair growth. I'm using virgin coconut oil. It's not runny like in Sri Lanka, so I heat it up if it's solidified. You can see I'm oiling my scalp and massaging well to promote hair growth. And we wait one to two hours before we hit the shower. I'm using my Bondi Boost Growth Shampoo. I recommend this line to everyone. It is sulfate, paraben free. So get few pumps and massage your scalp and the roots to remove all the buildup on your hair and make sure not to apply to your ends. And I use the scalp massager here to exfoliate the scalp and grow my hair back. Following with my Bondi Boost Conditioner, I'm applying it to my ends. This conditioner is very hydrating. My hair is naturally very dry, so this really helps to get that moisture back. And this is how much hair came out today. You can't really avoid it. To up the game, I use this hair mask by Bondi Boost. Apply it from roots to ends and leave it for about 15 minutes in the shower. I always brush my hair in the shower with conditioner in it to prevent breakage. After a 15 minute wait, I'm rinsing off all the products. The products I'm using today will be available on my Amazon storefront. You can click on the links on my description below. Here are my favorite leave-in conditioners. So today I'll be using Mark Anthony leave-in conditioner, but my favorite is Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner, but I really need to restock it. It's always sold out. So I'm spreading evenly along my hair, even a little bit on my scalp. Following with my curl creams, these are my favorites. Here I'm using the Joico curl cream. Don't um, use too much of product. A little goes a long way. So you get few pumps and lather it in your hands. And spread it evenly with praying hands. And then I use my Dyson detangling brush to detangle and spread all the products that we applied evenly. I'm using another curl defining cream and raking through my hair to get that curl pattern. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. And here I'm using my Denman brush to define the curls. And then scrunching them. You can see when your curls starting to form. Last step is applying a gel to form a gel cast and maintain that coily, curly shape. Scrunch that in. 
finally using a t-shirt for plopping and to get all the excess products out. When my hair is about 20% dry, I dry my hair using my Dyson Supersonic. I love it because it has minimal heat damage. So first using the gentle blow attachment to dry my roots, getting to the low heat settings. I focus on drying my roots first as it takes the longest to dry. And after around five minutes, I'm going with the diffuser attachment. Again with the low heat settings. Drying my roots first. And I flick my hair side to side using the cupping motions to set the curls. Here I'm diffusing upside down. Diffusion takes around 20 minutes. When your hair is 90% dry, I make sure to shake and scrunch my curls to get more volume. This is my final look. My curls are looking juicier and plumped and well defined. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you want more videos like this, please comment down below. I'll see you again. Bye.